This is the second day of testimony in the trial of Joseph Daniels. Daniels is charged with killing his five year old son, Joe Clyde Daniels, in 2018. The child's body has not been found. The trial is expected to last two weeks in Dixon County, and that's where we find news for us. Marissa Sulik covering this case gavel to gavel. And Marissa, bring us up to speed on what happened today. Maurice, today we were brought back to April 4th, 2018. And that's the day that Joe Clyde disappeared. And this morning, two witnesses were brought to the stand. They were both first responders and some of the first people to search the Daniels residence the day Joe Clyde went missing. Now, Chad Bailey with Murray County Emergency Management, who was assisting with the investigation, says when they got to the Daniels home, multiple family members were inside. The state showed photos of the outside and inside of the house to set the scene for jurors. The photos showed the inside of the back door with the latch plus a master lock and key on the fireplace mantle. Bailey says those are what Joseph told first responders first responders that is Joe Clyde used to escape the residence. He said he believed that he pushed that table over, climbed up on top of the table, found the key and unlocked it. And then at some point must have pushed that table back to where it was and exited the residence all while they were asleep. Now, yesterday we heard from Joe Clyde's teacher who said that using the lock and key is one motor skill that he had difficulty with and one motor skill that she worked on with him. Marius. Now, Marissa, all of the jurors, including the alternate, say they had never heard of this case. So this is day two. How are they reacting to all of this information? Well, the judge even made the statement today that these jurors, jurors are smart. They've so, so far submitted four different questions today, just asking anything from about motions hearings beforehand, the evidence. They've even asked for a, tr a tour, that is, of the Dixon County Courthouse here. So they are very invested in this trial. And when a juror does ask a question, they have to write it down, send it in. They actually have to leave the room. So it's a whole process while the council discusses it. Marius.